Uh, we're standing up here on the right hand abutment of the dam and basically this, this area is uh, designated for construction purposes as a batch plan area. Um, so these Anthedria trees are considered quite significant, they're iconic Australian species and uh, we felt it was uh, important to um, you know, remove them and translocate them. Today, the uh, Hankel Gardens have come out to take delivery of their plants and they're also going to take um, just some information about the aspect that the plants were found in, um, the species, the soil types, all that kind of information so that um, that can be um, archived and um, that information will follow those trees. The three of us have come out here today to, to take receipt of the plants as you can see on the back of the truck uh, and they'll go back to the Australian National Botanic Gardens and we'll put them in an area where we can look after them um, and um, you know, in, in hopefully in the future they'll, they'll go out and, and people will see those either at the gardens or back out into areas out um, in the bush around Canberra. We've engaged um, Dave Smith who's um, done this kind of work before, he's quite knowledgeable and it's difficult to find someone who um, has that skill um, to pull these out. Yeah, with um, this area being designated for um, I think a batching plant very soon, these anthurias, as, as many as we can, we're going to save. First process is cutting off all the waste dead leaves so we can see the trunk and dig around it a bit more efficiently and trimming off three quarters of the active vegetation just so that the plant doesn't have so much stress over the next few months. Once we get to that I'll get the machine in and we'll rip around the four sides of it trying to get a decent root ball, pop it out and um, put in a pot. There's Barry at his haircut. We'll see how we go next. The small machine tends to be able to get into these areas fairly well and it's fairly manoeuvrable, it's lightweight fairly easy on the plant, you're very close to the action, it's got a small narrow ripper so you can operate very efficiently up close around the plant. Lifted him out, now we, depending on how big the root size are, we just have to trim a few of the longer roots off. Their main root system is a very almost invisible spider web sort of fibre that goes through the soil. And no matter what you do, that always seems to come off. So we've got some soil in the bottom here that's from another hole where a xanthorea came out of. We'll place the plant in. We add um, some trace elements and water crystals into the in situ soil. Xanthoreas have a, a very complex relationship with the microorganisms in the soil, so it's very important that you get as much of the original soil back around the root system as you can. As you can see, they don't grow in the, the best soil in the world. They tend to like it rocky and lean. So this is just a, a seaweed extract which um, promotes new root growth and helps the plant cope with the stress of being dug up it's natural and serves several functions. As I said, it's root promoting. It's almost like an antibiotic for the soil. So it'll help fight off any you know, infections that the plant may get because it's had a lot of its roots disturbed. It's 
smells like going prawning. And that'll receive you know, another watering can of water in about 10-15 minutes once that's percolated down. And then, yes, off to the botanic gardens for, for Barry. In 2003 the site was substantially burnt by a, a high temperature fire uh, and as you can see they've recovered um, from that and um, so they're very durable tough plants. They're also extremely old, they're very slow growing, some of the ones with trunks can be many hundreds of years old. We're keeping some for uh, replanting on site as a revegetation thing. Some of the trees will also go to the um, offset area, um, which is an area set aside to uh, offset the impacts um, of the construction work. I think it's the only way to go. Um, we have to be collaborative, um, both in this case with, with federal and, and uh, uh, ACT government working together to, to bring about um, you know, a, a successful outcome. If we only rely on our own resources and our own ideas, um, we're not working as effectively as we can be. So by collaborating like this, it gives this particular um, success story every chance of, of happening. You have a full truck? Full truck. Very happy. <laughs>